This talk is about how Alibaba gamified shopping and changed the world. It's really about how they made shopping fun again. So the best way to start this talk is to tell you how unique it is, the properties owned by the Alibaba group, and that what Jack Ma built, it's truly unique. So the best way to contrast it is to look at what it's not. So I talk to people every day. I mean, I talk to probably four or 500 brands a year coming into China for whatever reason they want to know, and they try to understand what Taobao and Tmall is, right, or Alibaba itself. And they always say to me, or even consultants, oh, you know, Taobao is C to C, it's a flea market, it's like eBay. It is not. Or Tmall is like Amazon. It is not. Actually, this is eBay, right? It's very neat and clean, and you, know, you can get to a category of product. You type in L'Oreal, you get some search results. You can buy something. It shows you very basically like a skeleton of the things you want to buy, and you can get to it quickly. Amazon, same thing, guys. You know, Jeff Bezos has spent 20 years designing a platform to make it so fast for you to buy the things you want. He predicts what you're going to think what you want to buy. He shows you only what he thinks you'll click by now on. And it's run by robots. You ever try to contact Amazon? There is no customer service. There's nobody there. You can't actually get there. Fortunately, we can because we, have, we work with partners who operate Amazon stores. So we can actually call people at Amazon and talk to them. But go ahead, try as a consumer, as a vendor, to talk to someone at Amazon. It's impossible, right? His goal is to save you time because shopping in the West Okay, it has one purpose, it's a utility. Your job is to get the things you want as fast as possible without spending your time, because time is money. But to be honest, it's boring as hell. It's boring. It's clean, it's perfect, it's fast, it's easy, the user interface is great, but it's actually boring. But without Taobao, shopping in China is miserable. It's so bad. So in 2013, I moved to China with my family, with my wife of 19 years now, and my two kids. Uh, I have a 9 and a 12-year-old. And we had to live an hour outside the city because that's the only place where the international schools are. So we had a nice compound. Kids had a great school. But everything around it was real China. And that means when you want to bake a cake, you've got to go to seven stores for the ingredients. Okay? Actually, you just give up. You have an IE, a helper, and she goes here. This is our grocery store. It's a wet market. But it had more things than anything else. It's dirty, it's loud, it's crazy. You know, you, don't, you can't even deal with it. So you say, ah, you know what? We're going to drive to Walmart, right? We're going to go to Ikea. Well, this is what that's like. This is the checkout counter, guys. It happens every day. Go anywhere in China, you go to Walmart. There's a sale. You've got to fight to pay them money to leave. And the worst thing is not even this. It's parking. Jesus. Just to find a place. It takes like an hour and a half to get to the store. I have never experienced anything more miserable. We spend Saturday and Sunday to buy cheese and a shelf. You know, it's like 24 hours of my time. It's just not worth it. Okay? It's hell on earth. And, and it's miserable. And this is the truth. So no matter where you go, you go to Shanghai. Yeah, it's nice. Downtown. They've got stores. Right? Drive 50 miles in any direction. Anywhere. And call me. And tell me it doesn't look like that. Okay, that's China, all right? So you got to understand that Taobao, when you first try it as a foreigner, so you turn on your translators, you got your VPN, it's magic, okay? It's like a magic show. I'm serious. It's amazing, okay? And um, the first thing I wanted to show you is how incredible this platform really is. I had my junior account manager shop for a lamp. I just want to show you what can be done in your Taobao app on your cell phone. So these are the screenshots. She videoed this, and then we show you. So at second one, you type in, hey, high-end floor lamp. You get a result. You click it. At second number four, you've already clicked the coupons, which automatically go into your cart. You can, with a finger swipe, you've sent the product link, the details, directly to the CS rep. OK, now that's a live person, not a chat bot. There's a human being over there, okay? At second 17, you've, you know, three seconds later, you've sent a question. While you're waiting, you're looking at what people have done. Does this have a, yeah. You're looking at what other people have done with the same product that you're buying. So this is photos from users, unadulterated, directly linked to the product page. 
within eight seconds. Here's a question. Here is the answer. Eight seconds letter from a live human being. At 27, you said, hey, you know what? That's great, the merchant's responding. I wanna know what other people think. You click the second feature here. You follow the store. You check in like you would at Foursquare. And boom, you can now ask other people who have bought from this merchant what their experience was buying from them. And as the merchant, us, you can't interfere. They can say, hey, this guy's a douchebag, right? Like, don't buy from them, this stuff's crap. But actually, you can't interfere with this process. You have to bribe these people if they have it out for you to go away. You have to do something. So now you go back to the CS, you're like, you know, I have another question. Um, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick the color. I'm going to put it in my cart. Okay, so the guy already responds a few seconds later. Now we're at a minute, five seconds. All right, this is all happening real time. I then pick up all these embedded coupons, and the, the CS rep responds in five seconds. I know you guys have all gone online for help desk in the States, and you wait, and you wait, and you wait, and then a robot comes in, how can I help you today, right? This is a real human being responding to me in five seconds, telling me there's a three-year guarantee. And I've already talked to the other consumers who say, this is awesome, go buy it. Here's a photo. I say, oh, you know what, I am gonna buy it. And the Alipay screen comes up, and I bought the thing. But here's the killer. This happened in one minute and 17 seconds. But actually, you can do that in Amazon, right? It's one-click buying. It's super fast. But let me tell you what you can't do and why this is more powerful than Amazon. This is factory direct. You heard me. This isn't the Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel. You are talking directly to the factory, to someone there who's giving you a hyper-personalized shopping experience. You can verify whether the product is real, good, and stuff from other people who have bought it, and you can negotiate with the factory to design it for you the way you want. So when my wife started using this, she stopped complaining about China completely. She's like, Taobao's amazing. Now, like three weeks later, I've got 400 boxes and shelves and paintings and all this stuff to install in my house. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. This is costing me a fortune. And it's genius.